What is up, everybody? Time for your weekly dose of goobies. I think I want roulette wheels on here. Do I want anything else going on? Yeah, whatever. Oh, double this, double, 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 double. Really, all we're working on now is... Who do we want to play here? I'll do a dizzy game. All we're working on is Gaia kills. So double bosses should speed that up. And we're just going to we're just going to accept the roulettes. We're going to do some space bar mashing. Whatever we get, we get. See how fast we can like get to an hour. I know that sounds like a stupid sentence to say. But usually we waste quite a bit of time picking skills and roulette wheels and everything. No, today we just accept everything. Accept everything and see what happens. And uh, maybe at the end we'll look at what we have for a build. There's no hoping for items. We just, we accept everything the gooby gods send our way. Whether that be good or bad. Usually these gut runs go decent. But you really do need a lot of luck to have them go really well. I don't know what our luck levels are going to be like today. And that's totally fine. As we don't really need any on kill effects, do we? I'm sure we're going to get a boatload of fire. That's usually what happens in these roulette runs. Is that one or two mini bosses spawned? We're deep into the chain lightning already. This is maybe turning into the accidental chain lightning run. Look at our chain lightning go. We got some exploding blobs. We could probably just sit still on this level. Like I'm running around bobbing and weaving. It's probably completely unnecessary. You're probably strong enough to just do nothing. I mean, we kind of want, want our levels. So we won't just do that. But moving around like causes us to take more damage, which I think is kind of funny. The best course of action would be just doing nothing. Which we don't really want to do. We want to do something. Zigrid and Mumza, not what we wanted. We want as many Gaias as possible, please. Two capsules, that's a terrible roulette wheel. Probably fine on Dizzy Wizzy. He's pretty slow. Is Dizzy Wizzy the slowest Gooby? Gotta be up there. Top 10 slowest Goobies for sure. Our crit chance is probably pretty dang high already. I'm not seeing many, if any, white numbers. I'm trying to spot them. No, we do. We're not at 100% crit. We're seeing a couple white numbers pop up still. I think that was more crit chance there. It left my screen so fast. Could not confirm that. But I think that was more crit chance. Some damage multi. Yeah, look at us go. We're not quite going to hit, uh, like, 60 minutes in 30 minutes. But I think we're going to be reasonably close. We'll save that magnet a little bit. We can kind of just chill, get some kills, get the XP stacking on the ground. Until this guy charges at us. 
What a jerk. What do we... How long can I wait until magnet time? Okay, bombers are happening. Let's just go magnet. The double level up, that's, that's nice. It's a nice little feature. I think I saw a mega crit, so we must be over 100% crit already. Kind of funny. We could end up with an obscene amount of crit. This is the style of run to end up with like three, four hundred percent crit. I think splinter, splinter kills was the challenge of the day. Let's see how how close we get to the top ten of the leaderboard. One hundred percent not attempting to get on the leaderboard. I'm guessing not not super close. But also not embarrassingly far away. Why well, you gotta give us the exact same bosses? Really game? We very clearly requested Gaia's and then are not getting them. Also the game 100% needs to add an essence of Gaia. Maybe that just gives you the Gaia arms. The Gaia arms would be kind of funny. Maxing them out. No clue if they'd be good or not. Also, speaking of the essences, the essence of Zigrid, it should have some upgrade lines that make it more like what Zigrid is actually like. To drop multiple... multiple bombs, like all at the same time, kind of in a line or whatever. I think that would just make it a better item. The mini boss noise might be my favorite noise in the game. Just means you're gonna get free stats. And everybody loves free stats. Everybody. We'll probably have a nap here till the bombers start coming after us. Okay, maybe not. The mini boss wrecked our plan of doing nothing. In order to get like over 300% crit, we're probably going to need like one big lucky wheel. Oh, well, or maybe you could call it unlucky wheel because more crit at this point pretty much does nothing. I should probably check up on this developer. See if they're making like another game, because this game is a blast. Like, what does the future hold for the Gooby the Gooby Emperor? Is that what the guy's name is who made the game? I assume that I assume that's what their name is. The Gooby Emperor, Gooby Empress. It's forty percent crit chance. Doesn't make us doesn't make us stronger, but makes uh, the numbers at the end of the game look way cooler. <laughs> More crit. More useless crit. Thank you, game. Yeah, we're we're kind of cruising right now. It's still pretty early. Maybe I should have put one of the difficulty modifiers on. But I do want to try to make it to an hour here on this run. I don't know if that will happen. Having like intentionally having zero control over things.
Are we struggling a little, little bit on those armored dudes? I guess our probably attack speed is probably a little light. That's one of the byproducts of Dizzy Wizzy. Not great attack speed. Well, but there we just got 15% more, so now his attack speed must be fine. Thanks, game. I think that was attack speed. I was turbo mashing the spacebar there. Love me some mini bosses. Feels like our DPS has gone down quite a bit. Oh, not when we have the the big explosion, the big combo explosion though. That's still very strong. Still have not had a single Gaia. That's a little rough. A little bit of pierce. That probably actually helps quite a bit with the run and our clear. How many Gaias per hour can we get to this run? Currently sitting at zero. We've d done zero percent of our essentially final achievement. Our final unlock. Our final unlock that requires playing the game since we skipped on P Pixel Perfect. I feel like we've been pretty lucky on Gaia's like so far uh, on like our our current game save. But then the the run where we're we're like the only goal is to kill as many as possible, not seeing any. I think that's kind of comical. When they just send dinky enemies at, at us, we feel quite powerful. Almost messed up there. I was I was a little slow on the, the old space bar, the roulette wheel space bar. Here's our first Gaia. Officially at one Gaia's per hour. Our DPS is bad. More Pierce? We accept. Dizzy Wizzy's feet are moving. We don't even have like high movement speed either. We just got like two extra capsules. That's. That's it for movement speed. So we can't get any mumsas on the roulette wheels, unfortunately. That feels a little silly. Just having skills that 100% can't appear on roulette wheels. Like, why you gotta do that, game? I also think it would be cool to have, like some themed wheels or even like if you kill Zigrid you get a Zigrid wheel with some Zigrid ish skills I 
It was just lots of ways to just make a game like this even cooler than it is. Like, we already love the game, but we could love it even more. The big beefy pack. We handled it, but didn't obliterate it. I mean, we're also not obliterating, like, the bosses and stuff right now. I would remember to mash, mash the space bar. Don't casually press it, press it. Absolutely mash it. Okay, two Gaia's per hour. And we're in mod territory. Oh, our DPS is very weak. And probably our only big DPS thing that we can do besides just getting a boatload of stats, which is always just recommended, is maxing out implode. But I don't think that'll be too wild this round. Something's telling me that this is not the godlike implode run. But it would still be nice. Max that skill out. We're just circling where the bosses are going to spawn. How long can we keep it up? Ooh, th ooh that's kind of rough for us. The fast armored guys from all sides with our versus our slow attack speed. They got a little tricky. We were totally fine in the end. But enemies did are I mean the enemies are closing in on us a little bit just in general here. Which tells us we're we're too weak. We're too weak and also standing in the middle when we're not we don't have good clear. Just not recommended. With that said, we sh we shall keep doing the thing that's not recommended. In the not so distant future, we're going to hit a hundred episodes of Goobies. That's kind of wild to me. Oh no, we're taking damage. We're still okay though. We got a pickup that we need to pick up after the boss dies. Sneak in there right now. Uh oh, we got a mini boss somewhere. Where are you at? I don't know if we can kill you, mini boss. No, we're too weak, mini boss. Mini boss, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. That was not peak strategy, but it worked. Yeah, the damage is just a little lacking, and I, I think it's largely uh, attack speed. Maybe I'm wrong there. Because I do feel like when we're hitting enemies, they're, they're dying fairly quickly. We just don't have that disturbing bullets flying everywhere happening in this build. I guess that could be like not having fork or chain as well that probably hurts the build quite a bit with especially with dizzy wizzy because you want your projectiles when you're shooting slow you want your projectiles doing as many things as possible to make up for that kind of lack of 
lack of coverage otherwise. Feels like we haven't really got a ton of crit chance lately. Oh, I don't know what number that was, but that was a black hole. Was this three guys per hour now? Assuming we can actually get this kill. The heavy cloner Gaia. Maybe causing some issues for us? Health-wise, we're totally fine here. Okay, just down to the regular Gaia with a lot of health. Oh, and a mini boss. Try to not to kill Gaia. Okay, now we can go kill Gaia. Accidental Sonic Wave run. Oh, we're, we have pretty large coverage, too. Not full screen, but also I don't think we have the skill maxed out. I just had a bug land on my arm. We're, like, still at the tail end of winter here, so I'm a little, little surprised by that. Wildfire should be going out of control now. Oh yeah, just chain these mini bosses together for us. We love it. I did not even see what we got out of that wheel. More capsules. Okay, we got some movement speed going on does not help us in any way shape or form but sure looks neat yeah keep the mini bosses coming as soon as we kill this one just spawn another one for us or even better yet spawn it right now the game did not cooperate Okay, I don't know. That was like already like what four mini bosses on this stage. Pretty good. Definitely starting to take more damage on these boss fights. I mean, I don't think we're in in trouble yet. But an hour will the hour mark will probably be quite bad for us. Level 50 as well, so... Really, mini-bosses are now, like, our primary... Mini-bosses and mega-bosses are our primary source of power gain now. We're going to get there 5% attack speed at a time. So we'll probably only get like one level. Two levels maybe per zone for the rest of the game. I don't remember if we usually hit, hit around 60, level 60 at an hour. I don't think we're going to get there on this run. Double mini boss, thank you. More crit. More wildfire.
Hey, we got one level. One level and the bosses have spawned. And more mini bosses. Oh, oh no. This is a bad combo, whatever this is. I don't think we're going to survive this one. A mom is a beast. Oh no. Crit chance, that won't help us. Just doing our best to stay alive here. Hey, we got one boss down. That at least clears things up. Makes this way easier to fight. We're probably fine now. We just have to actually do the damage to the boss. Even if we could take a couple hits, I think we're still probably going to go positive health-wise for the rest of this battle. Alright, that went from looking very ugly to being totally fine for us. It feels like our upgrades we're getting are not have not been very impactful though. I see dead blobs. Yeah, I think a little late for that to be of much use. Especially when we did not get the full upgrade line. Well, we're we're pretty close to our 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 goal. It should be manageable. I mean, we had a really bad boss combo on the last one and survived. So we probably have to do like two more rounds of bosses to make it to an hour. So as long as we don't get a worse combo than what we just experienced, we're good. I kind of feel like we need ability wheels, not stat wheels. And and those ability wheels to not just give us more on death effects. Obliteration is probably okay for us. Uh, what just happened there? I don't know what happened, but it was uh, very good for us. 60% <laughs> crit chance. Hilarious. Well, we must have had something go right for our build that I was not aware of. Because we absolutely deleted those bosses. We need a little bit more of that if we want to survive past uh, the hour marker. I think we're good. I think we're good to, to make it to the hour. big spikes big spikes that uh, that's not a difference maker I mean we appreciate it though at this point I think the big spikes are just too slow I think that was a three times ruby just get the get the crit chances even higher the big thing there is we would have got a lot of crit damage out of that as well. And that might that might have put us to the cap on those as well. So we'd have cardiac arrest, which would really help on the mini bosses. So hard to tell without without actually stopping and checking. What's that? Fourth Gaia? Look at this screen. 
you can't even see you can't even see the ground or where the the bosses are we are toasted here okay go and search for health nope we're dead that's all right i think we got three three uh boss kill or gaia kills that is not bad 295 percent crit chance pretty good that's pretty good seismic tsunami salvage energy yeah it's just all the like that that late and doing that much damage that's a little surprising did we have two of those three i thought we just got one well really effectively that's only two. Oh, so we did get the good upgrade on that well it did work the rest of this not so much all right everybody uh that's it for this week for goobies we were like we did like a 30 minute 55 minute run pretty good pretty good speed running a game that can't be speed ran and i'm out oh we should check our leaderboard oh baby 83rd best in the world <laughs>